Hello everybody and welcome back to another Dreams tutorial. This time I actually have my mic on. Whoa, that's pretty weird. Uh, reason being because this tutorial is pretty complex. Um, it has a lot of steps and I think it'd be much more understandable if I did it over mic as opposed to my text like my previous tutorials. So here we go. What you'll need for this tutorial is pretty standard. First, you're going to have to download Remote Play for the PlayStation 4. you also need Realtek Audio on your system. You'll need a computer of some kind, and you'll need a stable connection of at least 5 megabytes upload and 5 megabytes download. Okay, to get this started, the first thing you want to do is head over to Google, because nobody uses Yahoo, and go ahead and type in Remote Play. It's going to be your first option on Google. Go ahead and head to download. Save it to your computer somewhere that you'll know where it's at. Wait till it downloads, then click on the icon. Install it. I already have this installed, so it's not going to allow me to install it again for obvious reasons. So I'm just going to go ahead and cancel the setup. Once it's installed, go ahead and click it on your desktop. When you first open this, it's going to ask you to detect your PlayStation. If you press start, it should be able to spot it if you're on the same Wi-Fi network. Mine's already hooked up, so it's going to find it no problem. I have connected to my PlayStation, and now I'm able to play with the PlayStation through my PC by hooking up my controller to my PC via a USB cable. If I go ahead and go to the settings here and find my audio options where I can change my microphone and such. Um, in here you'll be able to change what microphone you're using. And so we clearly are not able to choose my PC audio at the moment. So what you need to do is you need to open up your PC audio settings. Head over to Recordings and Stereo Mix. Stereo Mix is the one you're going to want to find. Stereo Mix is something you can download. Link in the description to Realtek Audio, which will give you Stereo Mix. Once you have it installed, go ahead and set it as your default. Then on PlayStation Remote Play, go ahead and click the little mic button and your device should then pop up on PlayStation. As you can see, it says microphone on remote play device. And that's actually our PC's audio. So if we head to adjust audio, and then click on our icon on the windows, you can see that it's detecting directly from my windows audio into my PlayStation. Meaning if we pull up a video like such, which is uh, natural sounds from the forest, we are able to head back into Dreams and start recording crisp audio. Press record and we're going to go ahead and record these sounds. And you can see my amp is actually reacting to the sounds from my PC. Now I just want to say do not record copyrighted material. That is a no no no. Do not do that. Once we're done we go into the game here and we can go ahead and test the sound effects. This is directly from the game. I have not edited this in any way. Immediately, you're able to tell how crisp and how HD that sounds. Yeah. 
Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate you guys watching this new kind of tutorial, all audio instead of text. I appreciate it. I hope it was easy to follow along. If it wasn't, please leave a comment. Please let me know what I did wrong and how I can improve on that. This is a first tutorial with my mic, so, you know, it's a little different for me. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoy importing HD custom audio into Dream without any issues. Boom. That simple. Pretty simple, isn't it? I hope you guys like this video. If you haven't already, please check out my latest video before this one. I'll show it on screen right here. It's a uh, Dream's gameplay with some a lot of editing, and I think you'll really enjoy it. And it's quite hilarious. Hey guys, thank you guys so much. Have a fantastic day. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.